Hello, hi, it's Henry the Computer Guy, and you're welcome to our lesson number 20. So in today's lesson, we are still actually talking about the computer laboratory safety and maintenance tools and their functions as summarized below. Remember, we previously talked about the blower, we talked about the air conditioner, we talked about the stabilizer, mentioned but a few. So we are still continuing with all other items or tools. And today we are going to be looking at what we call a foam cleaner. They are telling us that a foam cleaner is a multi-purpose anti-static cleaner that removes all types of dirt, gliss, stains and contaminants from computer plastic surfaces or devices such as the keyboard. You want to let's say clean a component, you have to use what we call a foam cleaner. And this is how it looks like. You have ever seen that component? You spray it onto the component, then you start cleaning it with a clean and a soft cloth. So it removes all that dirt and makes the component actually look like new. So whenever you go to town, actually you have gone to buy a computer, they will first of all clean it with that solvent then it appears like a new one. So we need it to actually remove the dirt or clean the dirt, the glaze and all other contaminants from computer components or devices. Let's look at what we call a waterproof cover. Why do we need a waterproof cover? Or why do we need waterproof covers? They prevent liquids from coming into contact with our components or computers, for example. And they're telling us that these are used to protect computers from getting in touch with water and liquid substances that can damage them. For example, you're going to leave a computer lab for some time, you're not around, cover all those computers with waterproof covers. Reason being that the roof might actually produce some of the moisture in the lab. Then the water comes into contact with the computers. So you'll get uh, some computers to be damaged. So this actually prevent our computers from getting into touch or protecting moisture and water or other liquids from coming into contact with our computer components. And this is how they look like. Let's continue. So let's talk about a woolen carpet. Remember, on some of the rules of a computer lab, we are not supposed to take shoes to the computer lab. Reason being that shoes come with a what? With a dust. Or the feet come with a dust. That means that we shall need what we call a woolen carpet to trap the dust that comes under the feet or the shoes for the users. And the computer, remember, when we go to the computer lab with the shoes, we are taking dust to the computer lab and computers are not supposed to be put near where we have the dust. They will be actually destroying some of the components in the computer lab. So for us to prevent that, we can use what we call a woolen carpet to trap the dust that comes under the feet. Another thing it can help us to do, it absorbs the moisture in the laboratory. That little, little water that comes let's say from the roof, as moisture can be absorbed by the carpet. Another one, it can prevent the breakage of small components when they fall down. For example, you have a mouse, you're working upon a computer, you knock it down, so it falls down. But on reaching the ground, it will break. So if you're having a carpet, then it will prevent the mouse from breaking down. Are we together? Then we come to what we call another one, which is another advantage of a woolen carpet. It covers some of the cables that are running on the floor in the laboratory. Remember, we are not supposed to put cables under pathways in the laboratory. So if it is unbearable, then we can cover them using the woolen carpet. It also prevents the users from being struck by the what? Or getting shocked by the electricity 
remember you might be having some some wires which are not covered so if they are always exposed they can bring problems so we can always cover them then prevent some of those problems let's look at another one which is the anti-dust covers you're not going to use computers for some time please cover them with anti-dust covers why do we need them they are used to prevent dust from entering our computer components or devices that is just obvious then we have an antivirus software remember we said softwares are installed on computers to direct the operation of the hardware and this is a software tool that is used to detect and remove malicious programs like viruses from our computer you cannot use a computer without an antivirus because it is that program that will detect and remove the viruses at times you use external devices storage devices you can use the flash disk external hard disk getting it from one computer to another remember they carry viruses or you always connect to the internet you pick that you, you pick what viruses from there so the program that can help us to detect and remove those viruses is what we call an antivirus software so we need it some of the antivirus softwares can be Avast, AVG, Smada, Kaspersky, Norton, mentioned but a few. So you can download them over the internet. We continue. Clean cloth or clean, soft clean cloth to wipe down the debris from the computer components. You monetize that, you get a clean and soft cloth. You rub it down or you clean it so the whole person actually cleaning computer components we continue and we actually have some other two which is the anti-static rest strap and the anti-static mat whenever actually you're working upon a, a computer repairing servicing it you need these two items they're telling us that there are two ESD tools. ESD in full is the electrostatic discharge, which is the anti-static rest strap and the mat. What are they used for? Remember, you're seeing someone having it like a bracelet here. It is connected from, from the component, then to the hand. Then here, this one, it is connected onto the table or on the ground where the servicing or the repair is going to be done. They are used to prevent the ESD from building up on a component or on the user, that person who is trying to repair that component. So they are telling us that the anti-static rest strap protects computer equipment when grounded to a computer chassis. The mat protects the computer equipment by preventing the static electricity from accumulating on the hardware or the technician these are the two we have let's refer to the diagram we are having here so we have the strip sorry the wrist strap and the mat so this one is like a bracelet it is like a bracelet you put this one or you attach this one to your hand you attach this one to the computer you're going to work upon you put this one on the ground then you connect it to your body you connect it to the component you're going to be working upon so this one is like a bracelet and what is it used for specifically it is used to prevent the build up of static electricity on their body which can cause the esd are we together so they are specifically used in conjunction that means that you need both of them and this one will specifically protect the damage or protect us from the damage and explosive chemicals from igniting and dissipating any electrical discharge before it can sabotage them that means that you are not, you're not going to put just the component on the ground you have to ground it with what we call the mat, anti-static mat. It prevents 
that ESD from building up on the component you're actually working upon. These are the, act, the two we have. So we always use them mostly when we are repairing or servicing our computers. So it's been Henry the Computer Guy. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share the link to all your friends that actually need this. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I sign out.